Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna show you how you can automatically import emails from either Gmail or Outlook directly into Microsoft Excel. This is completely free, and once we set everything up, it'll just run automatically in the background. You don't have to touch anything. When you receive an email, if the conditions are met, it'll automatically make its way over to Excel. So when would you use something like this? Well, let's take an example at the Kevin Cookie Company. We receive all of our orders by email. I know it's a little bit antiquated, but that's how we work. And then some poor soul at the company has to take the details of that order and enter it into Microsoft Excel. And yes, that poor soul happens to be me. So I'm looking forward to automating this flow. I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to make this work. All right, let's check out how we can do this. To import email into Microsoft Excel, we're gonna use a product called Power Automate, and it's made by Microsoft. To get started, let's head to the website office.com. And on the homepage, you can sign in with your Microsoft account. If you don't have a Microsoft account, don't worry, you can sign up entirely for free. Right down here, simply click on sign up. In this video today, I'll be using a free account and all of this functionality will work just fine. I'll click on sign in. Once you sign in, you'll land on a page that looks like this. And as the first step, we wanna create a new Excel workbook. And we also wanna make sure that it's stored in OneDrive. So why is that? Well, by being stored in OneDrive, this flow will be able to work all the time, whether or not your computer is on or off. To create a new workbook, over on the left-hand side, let's click on Excel. On the Excel start page in the top left-hand corner, you can create a new blank workbook. I've already started one, so I'll click on it right down here. This drops me into the cookie orders workbook, and I wanna use this to capture all of the order details that come in via email. If you're in a blank new workbook, let me walk you through how you should set this up. Simply create columns with all of the data that you wanna capture from your emails. Here in my example, I wanna make sure I track the customer email, when the customer placed the order, what cookie type they want, how many cookies they want, how they want us to deliver it, and then there's one additional column called fulfilled, and we're gonna use this to track whether we've sent the order to the customer. As you could tell, I spent a lot of time creating this table. Once you're all done creating all of your columns, click somewhere within your table, go up to the insert tab up on top, and then make sure that this is a table. Once you turn it into a table, it'll look something like this. Also up above, you can click here if you wanna rename your workbook. This will make it easier to find later. Feel free to give it some name that you'll recognize. Once you've made all of those changes, our workbook is ready to go. I'm now back on the office.com homepage, and next I wanna set it up so our emails go into Excel. And once again, we're gonna use a tool called Power Automate. To access that, in the bottom left-hand corner, click on this icon that says All Apps. On the All Apps page, over on the left-hand side, here we'll see Power Automate. If you've never used Power Automate before, this allows us to create different workflows between apps. And in this case, we're gonna use Power Automate to connect our email to Microsoft Excel. Let's click on this. This drops us on the Power Automate homepage. And as a quick aside, right here on the page, you can see a whole bunch of different sample flows that you can set up to automate your life. So there are some pretty neat examples that I think could help you save some time. All right, so let's get back to how we get our email into Excel. And for that, we wanna create a new flow. Up here in the top left-hand corner, let's click on new flow. Here we have a number of different options, but we wanna create an automated cloud flow. The reason we wanna select this one is we want it so when an email arrives in your inbox, it'll automatically add it into Microsoft Excel without any human intervention. Let's pick this option. This opens up a prompt where I can start building my flow. And at the top, I need to give it a name. I'll call this mail to Excel. I think that's pretty clear what it does. And right down here, I need to choose a trigger for this flow. And the trigger is what's going to kick things off. And in this case, I receive an email message. So here I'll type in mail arrives. And I see several different options down here. Here I have when a new email arrives in Office 365. So if you have a business or school account, you'll wanna make sure you select this. 
And down here, I'm using a free consumer account, so I'll select the option for Outlook.com. Also, you could even set it up for a shared mailbox. And if I scroll down a little bit, you could set it up for Gmail as well. It works the same regardless of who your email provider is. In this case, I'm using Outlook.com, so I'll select this one and then click on Create. Before we start building out the flow, I want to give a quick preview of what the email looks like that I want to import into Excel. So here I receive an email and it could come from any customer email address. The subject will include cookie order and then the details of the message will include the cookie type, the quantity, and also the delivery method. Now that we've looked at the email, let's jump back into Power Automate. Back within Power Automate, I'm ready to set up my flow. And although it might look a little bit complicated, it's actually not that bad. And we'll walk through all of this step by step. Right up on top, I see the first step of this flow, when a new email arrives. And here I can specify the folder that I wanna check. I could change it to something else, but I'm gonna receive all of my emails in the inbox, so I'll leave this as is. Down below, I can also show some advanced options, and these are basically additional filters that I can apply to the messages. So does it have to come from, let's say, a specific email address? Should it include a specific subject? And in this case, all of the orders will say cookie order, so I want to filter based on the subject. Here I'll type in cookie order. I could go through and I could set all these different types of filters, but this is all I need. Now that I'm done with this first step, let's come down to this button and click on plus new step. This now adds a new step. And for this one, I wanna take the HTML contents of the email message and I wanna convert it into text. And the reason we're doing this is I wanna extract some details out of the email message. Once I type this in, right down here, I see an action for HTML to text preview. I'll select this one. This has now added a step for HTML to text. I'll click into this area to specify the HTML. And when I click there, over on the right-hand side, I can see dynamic content that I can insert. And I wanna take the body of the message. That's where I'm going to extract different details. I'll select this one. Now that I've selected body, let's add one more step. For the last step, I wanna add a new row into my table in Microsoft Excel. Right up here, I'll search for another action and I'll search for Excel. Here I see two different options. There is Excel Online for Business or Excel Online OneDrive. If you have a business or a school account, select this option. And if you have a free consumer account, which I'm using today, I'll select the OneDrive option. I'll pick this one right here. Now that I've selected Excel Online for OneDrive, I see a whole bunch of different associated actions. And when I receive an email, I wanna add a new row into a table. And right here, I see the option to add a row. I'll select this. Next, I need to specify what Excel workbook I'm working with. And when we first started, we created that new workbook. So we wanna make sure we select that file. Right up here, I'll click in File, and let's click on the Browse icon. Once you click on the Browse icon, it'll show all the different files in your OneDrive. And here I see my Cookie Orders Workbook. I'll select this one. Down below, I now need to select a table. Here, when I click on Table, I see that there's one table contained within this workbook called Table 1. I'll select this one. Here now, you'll see that Power Automate automatically fetches all of the different columns from the table. Here I see the customer email, the receive time, the cookie type, all those columns that we set up earlier in that first step. To the right of all of these different column names, I see this field and I need to specify what details of the email I wanna populate into this field. And the first two are really easy. Here I'll click on customer email. And when I click on that, over on the right hand side, I see all of this different dynamic content. With dynamic content, I can pull in things like who the email came from, who it was sent to, what the subject of the message was, what the body of the message was. In fact, if I simply want to pull these different attributes of an email into my Excel table, there's no need for this second step with HTML to text. The only reason we added this step here is because we want to extract some of those details from the body. But if simply pulling in the entire body on its own is good enough, well, you could simply skip that second step. Here, I wanna capture the customer email. So right here at the top, I'll select from. For the next field, I wanna indicate when we receive the order. And here I see the receive time. I'll click into this field. And once again, in the dynamic content, I can scroll down 
And if I look through this list, here's an option for received time. I'll select this. Next, I wanna capture the cookie type, the quantity, and also the delivery method. And if you remember from looking at the email earlier, we wanna pull this content out of the body. To extract this content from the body, we're going to use an expression. Let's start with the cookie type. And right over here when I select this field, here again I see the dynamic content, except instead of choosing this dynamic content, let's click over into expression. And here I'll enter in an expression. I've also included this expression in the description if you wanna look at it and reverse engineer what it does. Essentially what this does is it'll look at my email message and it'll pull out the number associated with the cookie type. Now that I'm done entering in this expression, I'll click on OK. For the quantity, I want to enter an expression for this as well. So here I'll select the field, I'll click on expression, and let me paste in my expression. Once again, all of these are in the description down below if you want to use this same example. Here I'll click on OK. And lastly, I want to add one more expression for the delivery method. So I'll select this field, click on expression, type in my expression, and then I'll click on OK. For this last column, we're not gonna use this. Instead, once we receive an order in Excel, we'll mark down whether we've sent the order or not. So we'll still have to manually do that. I'll leave this one blank. And that's really all there is to it. We've now set up this flow, so it should just work automatically. Now that we've completed entering all of these details, at the very bottom, make sure to click on Save. And just like that, here we see that the flow is ready to go and they recommend testing it out. That's certainly a good idea. Here, I have an email message all ready to go. I've addressed it to the email address associated with that flow. I've also entered in the subject, cookie order, and here are all the details of the message. Now, when we were setting up the flow, we set up a few different expressions to extract email from the message. And you wanna make sure the message exactly matches the format that you're looking for, otherwise it can mess with your expressions. Once again, if you're simply taking the entire body of the message, it won't really matter that much. Once you're ready to send, let's click on send and let's see if this works. Back on the My Flows page, here I could hover over the flow that we just created. I'll click on the ellipsis, and right in this menu, I could click on Run History. And here I could see that the flow successfully ran just a moment ago. When I shift over into Microsoft Excel, here I can see that it automatically added the order details into my workbook. Here I see the customer email address, when they place the order, the cookie type, the quantity, the delivery method, and then here I have the fulfilled column. We just released the pigeon about 30 seconds ago with the 20 cookies, so here I'll type in fulfilled. Now, if the pigeon gets there or not, well, that's not our concern. Once it leaves the factory, we're done with it. That's how easy it is to import emails into Microsoft Excel. Or, I mean, it takes a few steps, but overall, it's pretty easy. And you never have to touch it again. This is now running in the background, and you'd be surprised at how many cookie orders I'll probably get from people watching this YouTube video. All right, well, let me know down below in the comments, will you be able to use this to eliminate any of your manual tasks? To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.